All right, so let's play a little bit. <laughs> oh, you let me get it. I'm it's... gonna try to stab it? Yes. Obviously, it's not deflating. This and is weirdly it, satisfying. And give it a bounce. <laughs> it's still... Wow. What if somebody ran it over? Still be fine? It'll go flat and then reinflate itself. And every little hole you see here represents a ball that's not in the trash, and every little hole you see represents between $5 and $50 you just saved to replace it. When you're in the middle of Africa or <laughs> Afghanistan, where you can't just run down to the store and get another ball, this is a lifesaver. First of all, how in the world did this happen? It started with me watching a news story about the plight of children in Darfur and other war zones. They were explaining that the only therapy that works is for children to play, but they have nothing to play with. Because the environment is so sharp-edged, uh, it's not idealized like a grass field. They live in environments where there's amazing thorns, there's barbed wire, broken glass, all that. And the average lifespan of an inflated traditional ball in those environments is about an hour. An hour? An hour. This has been road tested even by a lion? Yes, it has. When we launched uh, in Johannesburg at the World Cup in 2010, <laughs> we had this bright idea that we would go to a zoo and they said, we have this lion that loves to play with balls. And Triton, this beautiful, mature male, he saw the ball coming and he perked up. He's so ready to play. He played for over an hour and then finally laid down from exhaustion. Even after three days, they could not believe it. It's got huge punctures in it, but it's still bouncing and playing. How critical was Sting's involvement in all this? It was as profound as having the vision in the first place. It was his understanding in less than 30 seconds how important this ball was. I mean, he knew how important it was before I could even tell him and said, do it now and I will help you with that. It just speaks to the kind of person that he is, and he and his wife, they are genuinely committed to everything that they believe in. It's very important for our entire team to have the opportunity to go and actually see what the impact is. It's one thing to hear about it and see the, the photos and video, and it's even another thing to see it firsthand. I think this whole idea of bringing soccer as global language, it brings all people together. I think it's a great undertaking and it's definitely been a benefit to our school to have these available for the kids for the lessons as well. <laughs>